Leeks are a fabulous vegetable that many people don't even grow. They don't take up much room and are incredibly hardy. Yes, they take a long time, but they are easy to grow and you can harvest them right into winter. Leeks have a mild onion taste and are great in stews and soups. The perfect winter food. Even kids love them. This little guy has the right idea. Leeks and dill. One of my favorite dishes in winter is potato and leek soup. Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel where we talk about organic gardening and wildlife conservation. Please boop that like button. Leeks originated in Western Asia and were eaten by ancient Egyptians. They were brought here by the early settlers. We have wild leeks or ramps native to the U.S. Like potatoes, leeks come in early, mid, and late varieties, depending on how long it takes them to grow. My favorite variety of leek is King Richard. They are an open pollinated variety and a good one to save seeds from. They grow tall and have nice, thick stems. While not as cold hardy as some leeks, they will tolerate nights down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 7 degrees Celsius. They are an early variety and mature in 75 to 80 days. Bandit is another fabulous variety. It is a long season and needs 120 days to mature. Bandit has great cold resistance and if properly mulched, will live through moderate snow. You can start leeks from seed or purchase them in bunches to transplant out. I sow in March and in June or even July, so I have them well into early winter. The seeds are small, but not too hard to handle. Sow in 72 trays or in a loose flat at 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to start in trays in March for my early crops. Plant one fourth of an inch deep. Keep in mind they are slow germinators and take about two weeks. You can sprinkle seeds in a tray or container and pluck them out later to plant. I am personally not a fan of this method. It makes them hard to separate and stresses the seedlings. Leeks like loose, fertile, and well-draining soil. Average pH between 6.2 and 6.8. With lots of compost, add lots of compost to their bed. I like to grow leeks in raised beds. Once your plants are the size of a pencil, you can transplant them into a garden bed. Use a dibble or the end of a hoe to make holes six inches or 15 centimeters deep. You just need a few leaves sticking out of the top of the soil. Here's the, the important tip. Don't fill in the holes. Just water them in and allow the dirt to wash around them. Plant them six inches or 15 centimeters apart from each other, two feet in between the rows. Once they get established, give them a nice layer of straw mulch. Leeks do not like weeds, so don't let your garden look like this. The plants will get two to three feet tall, but have a very shallow root system. They need an inch of water each week. Leeks will do great in containers. For square foot gardeners, you can put four per square. I like to intercrop leeks with radishes. The radishes loosen up the soil and they also make a good trap crop for pests. I, I like to grow leeks in raised beds. This way you can add in lots of compost and have a well-drained soil area. I also grow garlic in raised beds. That way during the cold wet of winter, they don't rot. I have not had many pest issues with leeks. They are prone to the same things as onions and garlic, namely thrips and onion fly. Use row covers if these are a problem for you. When harvesting, it's best to dig them out with a garden fork. Pulling can tear the tops. Leeks make a beautiful flower that is attractive to bees. 
The seeds form in the flowers and can be collected if you have an open pollinated variety. Leeks store well in a root cellar or basement storage area that's around 35 degrees. Put them in a box of soil or sand standing up like you would carrots. They will last in the fridge up to two weeks. They give off an odor that can be absorbed by plants, so place them in a bag or container. You can make lots of delicious dishes with leeks, like this quiche. Check out my video on how to grow great onions next. I hope that you are having a fabulous garden season, and I wish you a wonderful sunny day.